Hello everybody, this is a, just a short video. Some people that frequent the website wanted to see a working example of the database, the, well, the weapon database created with scriptable objects. So I've gone ahead and thrown this together. I said I'd actually put one up on the website. I just had not got around to it yet. But uh, all the code is on the website. I'll go ahead and leave a link on YouTube to the actual blog post with the code. But it just has three scripts. That's it. Uh, pretty short scripts too. The longest one's the editor, but that's just all GUI stuff. But let's go ahead, we'll jump into the example. So I've gone ahead, I've actually thrown it up here. You can also use the short key for it, or the hot key, depending how you call it. But here we go, we got a window. You can go ahead, you can dock it if you want. It's just, you know, your standard window. And you have your new button here. Go ahead, click it, pops up a new window here. You go ahead, call it whatever you want. And let's just, I don't know, let's call it a sword. Give it a damage. And there we go. It shows up. We'll go ahead. We'll add another one. Oh, let's see. Daggers are really weak. They only do two damage. And you get the idea, right? You can keep going through it. Now, keep in mind, this is just all GUI stuff, really. Uh, you could have whatever look you want. Maybe you want an icon here. Uh, you can click it. You can edit it. After you're done editing, you just hit done. It automatically saves for you. And it's great because it is saving it in that scriptable object for you. So you don't have to go ahead, create all these different prefabs. And, you know, like, oh, I, I, need, I need this hilt with this blade, this cross guard. Maybe I want to add this particle effect to it. Okay, now I'm going to attach the scripts. And now I'm going to get my prefab done. I got to go drag it over to... A special folder where I'm going to keep all my prefabs. This is just so much easier because when you're creating it or even when you're editing it, you can go ahead and create a field here for anything. So maybe you want a special uh, model for this particular weapon. And you can literally just like go ahead and drag whatever model is you want up there. Maybe you're going to do the little target button that pops another window up. You can have a drop down list. Again, it's all GUI stuff. Wherever you want it to look, go ahead. This was just a little quick example of it but uh, yeah go ahead it keeps track it just stores everything in a scriptable object for you I've got it actually saving over here in the database and if you open that up it's got all the stuff here as well so if you we went ahead and made a new one uh, what do we got? let's do a mace and I don't know uh, let's say a mace does uh, three damage there we go. As you see, it just automatically added there for us. So it's pretty cool. Oh, I wanted a dagger to be capital D. And yeah, we'll go ahead and finish it off. Shrink these down. Again, you can edit them here, but it can get kind of tedious. I just find it so much easier to have a, a, a nice editor over here. But anyway, there you go. There's your quick example of up and running and uh, I'll leave a link down below for the people on YouTube that want to read the blog post and the code for it is over on the blog post as well but anyway I'll see you over later bye bye